Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. My name is Jezro. I, I just want to, uh, I'm going to get you, but I just want to touch something real quick. What's your name, sir? Jamal. Okay. I want you to listen to this, all right? The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 29. We will deliver you up to be afflicted. Right. So we are in the last days right now. What we teach is, people do not like this. We teach them repentance. That's right. Read. That's right. It shall kill you. Uh-huh. And ye shall be hated. You shall be what? Hated uh -huh. of all nations for my name's sake. It says hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's right. Do you know what all nations are? You have said it earlier. All nations is everyone, even your own brother. That's so right. So we understand that. We understand that. Read it, read it, read on. Is that all? The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. So we already understand this. But the point that we teach you here is repentance. That's right. Okay? What's your nationality? You African You African American Indian. Okay, so you will fall in line as an Israelite. Okay? We're teaching repentance to save you. That's right. Okay? Give me Matthew chapter 24, verse 42. You got saved 10 years ago? Okay, we're going to deal with that. Get you saved, right? Read, read what you got. Matthew 24 and uh, 42. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do have come. So the scripture tells us to watch. Okay? Watch, because we don't know when Christ will come back. That's right. Now watch this. We do. You do? We do. Okay. All right. Is that all in that? Uh, now he said he saves, right? So let's get that in loop. All right. So we gonna find out if you are saved or not. Bring his hope. Uh -huh. That's right. Wait, come on. The Book of Luke, chapter one, in verse sixty-eight. Bring it out. Bring it out. Let me tell you something. When people say we saved. That's that Christian mindset, yeah. okay? Bro, we have been lied to for years. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. This time, yeah. remove that Christian doctrine far from you. Yeah. Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Yeah. 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 For he have visited and redeemed his people. It says his people. Christ came for his people. Yeah. 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 Read. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us uh -huh. in the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So, all in the Old Testament, they prophesied of Christ. Okay, they prophesied of his coming. Okay, when Christ came, he was preaching the Old Testament. That's what they're talking about. All right? Read. That we should be saved. It says that we. What? Should be saved uh -huh. from our enemies. Yeah. We should be saved from our enemies. No one is saved. That's Why? Right. Because George, what's his name? George Floyd. Floyd. George Floyd just died. He's right. not saved. Bring it up. Guess what? Give me Leviticus chapter 26. Bring it up. Watch this. Watch this. For those of you who think that you are saved. Yeah. The book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Yeah. And I will set my face against you. 37. Jump to 37. Verse 37. And they shall fall one upon another as it were before a sword. Uh -huh. When not pursuing. Right. Read right on. Go on. Jump to 36. Verse, th th verse 36. And upon them that are left alive of you, I will send faintness into their hearts. The scripture says. 
The most high God will send faintness into our heart. You know what that is? I'm going to tell you what that's, that's going into. Faintness. Faintness. When we driving, faintness. When we're driving, right, and the police uh, pull up behind us, we're going to be going to speed limit. You know what I'm saying? Going through our business. Following, kissing the law of the land. But that faintness is, is in, the, in the heart is this. We look up in that mirror. We tend it to. We like, oh man, let me hurry up and try to get over. That's faintness in your heart. Read. Faintness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies. Yeah, it's yeah, in the yeah, lands yeah. of our enemies. Guess what? This is the land of your enemies That's right here. Right. They came over here. They took this land. They conquered the people over here. Bring it they up. divided them. They shook us over here. We are in the people. We are. We are in the land of our enemies. Yeah. Read. In the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them. It's at the sound of a shaking leaf shall chase them. That's right. We are in fear of our lives. That's right. Repent. That's what that's going into. The sound of a leaf. And they shall flee as fleeing from a sword. It says, you will flee as from as fleeing from a sword. It was another brother, the uh, light skin brother, right? He was driving. He got out of his car, which is stupid. You know, he shouldn't have ran, but he ran. He was fleeing. He didn't do nothing wrong. You know, he was fleeing. And they shot him down, they killed him. Yes, okay? And when they killed him, guess what? His own brother came up and said, huh? He laughed and said it's gonna be a closed casket. That's Look, right. He hated his people. Bring it up. But we here to teach. So we have to repent. We have to love our people. Right. Wake right. up our people up. That's right. All right? That's all on that? Jesus. All right. Huh? That's right. All right. Now. Since you got time, let me deal with these people. You continue to listen. All right. How you doing, brother? What's your name? Moshe. Huh? Moshe. Moshe? Do y'all have any questions? Moshe and Sean. Okay. All right. Something that we have to deal with. Psalm 141 and 5. All three. Watch this. So this is specifically for you two. Because I see... You, y'all are on the merge of repentance, which is good, all praises. That's right. Okay. The book of Psalms, chapter 141 and verse 5. Let the righteous smite me. All right. So, it says, let the righteous smite me. We are the righteous. The righteous of those that keep the law. That's right. All right, let's get that. Uh, hold that. Give me Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 6, verse 25. Okay. Bring it out. <laughs> We're going to show you proof of what the righteousness is so that way there is no confusion. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. You know? And it shall be our righteousness. Right. It shall be our righteousness. The Israelites' righteousness. Yeah, right. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. Right. So if we keep in the commandments, that's righteousness. All right. Go back. The book of Psalms, chapter 141 and verse 5. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. Let the righteous smite me, and it shall be a kindness. You know why? Because that's loving your neighbor as you love yourself. That's right. Okay. And let him reprove me. Okay. Meaning correct. Read. It shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head. Okay. Okay. Let's go to that. So I got a question. You obviously know your wife. Who is she? Huh? Your friend. Okay. So you said you don't have no questions for us. Okay. So I got a question for you. Uh, you keep the Sabbath, yes? Okay. Your friend keeps the Sabbath. Okay, so you appear to be righteous, right? What have you taught your friend so that she can be righteous? Give me a. I've tried to. Uh, eat right, you know. Okay, all crazy. All right, I got a question. I got a question. Um. Where you see yourself out on that side? Um, American flag. Okay, so do you understand? Matthew 5 and 14. So you understand that you are an Israelite? 
Okay, so you bring me to that. Matthew 5 and 14. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 14. Bring it out. Ye are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. So the scripture says that we are the light of the, of, of the world, right? Read. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Meaning us, you know, he was driving. You know, he saw us. You know, we're that city set on the hill. Right. We are that light, okay? Right. You are the light because you have your fringes on, right. all right? right. So, same likewise for you, okay? Once we know who we are, okay, we must repent. You have to be a light, okay? Now we're going to show you what the light is. You got that in Proverbs? Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Okay. When you get it, read it. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandment is a lamp. Uh -huh. And the law is a light. It says the law is the light. Okay? So we are letting our light shine by keeping the laws. You can see us. It's evident that we're keeping the laws. Yeah. Now we have to deal with something. All right? Let's get uh, 1 Timothy. Huh? Finish up Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Oh, go ahead. Finish out Matthew. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. All praise. Let's go back to that in Matthew 5, 14. We're going to finish that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 14. You know? Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Uh -huh. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Right. So, what that's going into, you know, once you start keeping the laws, we can't be afraid to keep the laws. We got to right. do it at all times. That's, that's right. right. Because we're being that light to the rest of the world. Read. On a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Right. So we have to give light to everyone that's in the house. Okay. By house, I'm, it's, it's meaning like outside, those that are watching, those that are looking. Okay. So what's that heritage that we fell from? I'm gonna show you. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse five. Read so this is that heritage. This is the law that you was talking about. We gotta bring it out. Make it the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Alright. So the scripture says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. And we know that to be what? Pants. All praise. Three. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Alright. And what's the woman's garment, sis? A dress. Three. <laughs> For all that do so. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It says, For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God, right? Now, give me, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, hair cover. All praise. Amen. First Corinthians 11 and 3. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. So the scripture says the head of every man is Christ. That's so right. The men out here, our head is Christ. What is in that? And the head of Christ is God. It says, and the head of Christ is God. Did we get to the woman part yet? Okay, read on. Every man praying or prophesying. Uh, <laughs> every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring. His head. That's right. Right. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. That's so the right. scripture says, every man, when this scripture is coming out, okay, whether it's praying or we bring it or we reading it, okay, it says every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. That's right. Hey, brother. All praise. All praise to the Most High. Then that's that's good. That's showing repentance. That's what Christ wants. That's what the Most High God wants. That's what's going to bring change. That's right. Okay. Make it plain, huh? Yeah. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. So likewise, when we take our hat off to honor our head, which is Christ, the woman should cover her head when the scripture's coming out. That's right. To honor her head, which is the man. You understand that? So you, you probably don't have a head covering, but just remember that scripture. You understand? Okay. Now, uh, let's get Psalms, I think it's 119, verse 59. Now, so sis, you said you were you are working on, you know, getting rid of the pain. Okay? You need to work faster. But you know we in the last days, right? That's right. Bring it up. Is that it? That's what I want? The book of Psalms, 
chapter 119, verse 59. Yeah. I thought on my way. So, sis, so when you said I'm working, I'm working on getting rid of the pants, you're thinking on your ways, okay? Now, that's good, because that's called self-examination. And turn my feet right. unto thy testimony. So, now, you're turning your feet unto the testimony, because you like, because you said, you know what, uh, the law said that, you know? You said, I know I'm, not, I'm, I'm working on getting rid of the pants, you know why? Because it's in the law, that's right? That's good. All praise to the Most High. The book of Sirach, chapter no, four. Uh, verse, verse six. Psalm chapter 119, verse 16. All right? So that's good. Okay? You're showing signs of repentance. But you can't waste no time. That's right. Because Psalm chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delayed not. So the scripture says, I made haste and delayed not. Which means don't put it off tomorrow. Don't say, oh, you know what? I'm a... I'm going to stop wearing, I'm going to throw all my pants in the garbage. I'm going to put on all dresses tomorrow. No, that's the Bible says do it now. You understand that? That's right. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Right. Meaning hurry up to keep the commandments. So no one knows when Christ will come back. Okay, the scripture says he's going to come as a thief in the night. That's right. When a robber breaks into your house, you don't know. You be sound asleep. All right, let's get that real quick. The book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Right. So the scripture says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Meaning don't take your time. Don't put it off. Don't say I do it next week. Read. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right. Now I'm going right there. It says what? Suddenly. Suddenly. So the wrath what? Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? Suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come first. Okay? And you don't want to, when the Most High God, when Christ returns, you don't want to be regretting, dang, why didn't I do it yesterday? You understand that? You gotta, you gotta hurry up, sir. That's you know right. All right. All right. All praise. And, uh, let's, that's it? That's it. All right. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right. Now let's get uh, Leviticus uh, 21 and 5. Yeah. But something else we gotta do. That's right. Bring it out. See. So, hold on. I wanna commend y'all. Commend, commend y'all out here. Why? Keep the law. Huh? That's right. Trying to keep the law. Bring it out. You should do that thing. And my man right here, I wanna commend you too because you heard the scripture. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now, watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Yeah. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Right, so this is a commandment, okay, that the Most High God commanded his chosen people. That's so right. Says, we cannot bald our head, all right? Well, the way Michael Jordan did it, T.D. Jake, you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't take a razor and you can't bald your head. Right. You understand that, Rick? Neither shall they save up. The corners of thy beard. Yes, Neither shall you shave off the corners of your beard. Yes, so we have to keep our beard. Yes, okay? Yes, we can't do the uh, the uh, the chin strap. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? The gold teeth. Right. You know, unless it's natural. You gotta go along that natural line. Yeah. Why? Because that how do you how do you know uh, a male lion from a female lion? The man, right? It's right. Okay? The so most high God says we are men. That's right. You understand that? Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah, do, do you think Christ have a beard? <laughs> it was depicted that way. We're gonna get it real quick. All right. Y'all know Christ is black, right? Make it plain, huh? We're gonna get it. We gotta get it. Uh, Revelation chapter one forty. All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get some understanding. Olive brown. So watch this. Uh, get your name. What's up, Jamal? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the proper understanding. Uh, Revelation 1 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay, so the root word in Revelation needs to reveal. So this, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. You with me? All right, now go to uh, uh, Revelation 1 and 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Right. So the scripture says his head and his, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So 
This is what John saw, okay? And John saw Christ. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. That's right. When it says white like wool, that's describing the texture. Because when you when we think of white like wool, okay, we think of sheep. That's right. Okay. In order for Christ, for for John to have saw the hairs on his 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 face, he had to have had a beard. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Christ kept the law. Christ knew in Leviticus chapter twenty one and five and said, "You uh, we got to keep our beard." That's right. You understand that? So hold on, hold on, hold on. You said uh, Mediterranean. Let me, let me, let me uh, put some clarity in it. Okay, read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool. The scripture says his head and his hairs were white like wool. They don't have woolly hair. Right. You know, That's they might right. have a hue to them because they're in the this sun. Was a miracle. Bring it out. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't a miracle. Mary. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So the scripture says Christ had woolly hair, as white as snow. So that's the color. Of it. Okay. Keyword, and then he wore wool. So huh? He wore wool though. That's wool. What, bring it up. Right. Meaning, look, look at his hair. Meaning, that's what wool looks turn. like. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. That's what wool looks like. That's what wool looks like. Bring you it up. Your hair out? Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you grew it out of fro? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I have woolly hair. Yeah. Okay? That's black people. That's right! Okay, we have woolly hair. That's good. That's what, that's so what the scripture is describing Christ here. And Morocco, depending no. on how long they've been in the sun. But yeah. No. Bruh, no. let me tell you something. The sun don't change your hair texture. How do white people become white? Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. Look it out! Oh. Alright, so we're going to finish this off and then we're going to get to the so-called white man. Verse 15! And his feet like a divine bread! As if they burn in a furnace! So, you know what um, the color of brass is? Bring it up! Brass is a brass. Is a brown. Okay. Bring it up! Alright, it says as if they burn in a furnace. If you take anything and you burn it in a furnace, what color is it? It's gonna come out real black. It's gonna come out real dark. Exactly. Christ was a dark skinned black man. That's right. Here. That's right. Alright? That's all. Now let's get that. Genesis 25 and 25. So, you ask, you know, you ask uh, how did the white man come on the picture, whatever? Become white. Become white. Okay. So, hold that. I want uh, uh, dust of the ground. Two and six. So, watch this. Right? This is the King James Version. No, I mean 16, 16, 16 11. 16, 16. Well, mm -hmm. King, King James? Yes, that's when, I, I that's mean, when no, King no, James uh, authorized the Bible to be from uh, to be rewritten in English from Greek. Whoa. Oh, you talking about, you, are, you, are you talking about the letters? You talking about the letters? Come around the front. I, I, I know what you're talking about. But first, we're going to deal with what you said first. We're going to deal with one thing at a time. All right, Genesis chapter 2, and I want verse 7. Each. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. You know? And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So, this is in the beginning, all right? The Genesis means the beginning, Yeah. okay? The scripture says the Most High God formed man of the dust of the ground, okay? When you when we look at the dust of the ground, it's dirt. Okay, the uh, deeper you think, the darker it's gonna get. So it was uh, different complexions, but everyone was of one complexion. You understand that? Now we're gonna get. Uh, you can finish. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. Now give me uh, Genesis 25 and 25. Okay, so you asking when did the white man get on the scene? Okay, what happened? Why are they white? Bring it out. Alright, that's a good question. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. The book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red all over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me 21, start at 21. The book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Because she was buried. Right, so she couldn't have kids, right? And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So the Most High God heard it, okay? And then Rebecca conceived, meaning she got pregnant. And the children.
been struggled together within her. Right. So at this time, right, she's pregnant. You know, she watched her sisters around her. Her um um she she watched her sisters get pregnant. Okay. Right. But it said the children struggled together within her. Jeez. Right. So she started having uh, uh pain. Okay. Right. But it wasn't your, no ordinary pain. Yeah, right. Because if it was, it wouldn't be right here. Breathe. And she said. If it be so, so if I'm pregnant, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. If I'm pregnant, why am I having these pains? Right. Okay, so she went to the most I got about it. Right. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So she had twins, right. okay? But it was something about these twins, right? The most High God said, yo, two nations are in your, in your womb, right. right? And two manner of people shall be separated from thy vows. So two manner of people, when she had those kids, are gonna come out, That's okay? Right. They were fraternal, That's right? right? And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Okay, so it says one of them children are gonna be stronger than the other child. Now, notice it says people, because when these, when these kids come out, they were going to be the beginning of a nation. That's two right. Two different nations, That's right? And the elder shall serve the younger. That first child that's going to come out, the scripture says that first child is going to serve the younger child. That's right. That's right. right. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, so her due date came, behold, there were twins in her womb. Right. And the first came out red. So the first, that first child, that elder child came out red. That's right. You understand that? All over like a hairy garment. All over like a hairy garment. So that child was red and hairy. What what uh, nation of people you know to be red and hairy? Right. That's so right. called white people. That's because right. Bring it out. I know on, t on, on TV they show, you know, uh, uh, Japanese and Chinese people as being real light, real white skin. But they were not always that way. That's right. Okay. They had hue to them. That's what they don't show you on TV. That's right. You understand? That's right. Right? And they called his name Esau. That's right. So they called that child name Esau. Okay? So you ask me, when did, when did the white man come on the scene? Bring it up. You have it. Hold on. We're not done. Read. Verse 26. And after that came his brother out. Uh-huh. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Read. And his name was called Jacob. Right? So Jacob was born. That's right. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Did you notice anything? In that reading, did you notice anything when the second child was born? They did something with the first child that they didn't do with the second child. They explained what the first child looked like when he came out. But the second child, they did not. You know why they explained what the first child looked like? Because when that child came out, he looked different from everyone on the face of the That's earth. Right. At that time, Albino. he looked different from everyone on the face of the Albino, earth. Albino, like in every, in every okay. race, in every animal. All right. He was leprous. It was like leprous. He had no pigment in his skin. That's right. Okay. Albino. Is that all on that? So, boom. Here you go. That answers that part of your question. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth